Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! Greetings, dear friends! Today we continue our international discussions after the online forum a Global Crisis Where People Want to Live, which took place on the 7th of May this year. And this was an unprecedented event and which left none indifferent. Many crucial topics were discussed during the international forum. And each of these topics was voiced from the just honest point of view. Also, as we do not uh, follow this information every day, this information was so shocking and, you know, breathtaking uh, that it was so honest and sincere that this information has changed each person's life which has watched this forum because it is not possible to be indifferent about this information and that is why I'm happy to welcome today's guests um, who are ready to share their impressions about the forum and what this information meant to them. Yes, today we will be discussing with our honorable guests. Let me introduce them to you. It is Andrea Jezernik, proofreader and editor from Slovenia. Hello, Andrea. Erika Abril, electronics engineering from Ecuador. Hello, hola. Erika. Hola, amigos, hola. And Boschan Rancigai entrepreneur and also proofreader and editor from Slovenia. I would Hello. like to express a great thank you to all of you today. You're the people who have made it possible to hear vital information in other languages because you were the interpreters at the forum. And in fact, you are the speaker of the forum in those languages. So thank you very much. Dear viewers, in today's consumer format of society, people are passing responsibility onto someone else. And all the time, even during the elections, we tend to act as consumers. We don't choose or vote for whom we like and whose program is close to our values. We tend to choose a lesser evil so that the bigger evil will not succeed, but evil remains evil, no matter if we call it bigger or lesser. I would like to ask our guests today, which part of the forum would you recommend which touched your heart the most to our viewers? Andrea, which one would you recommend for them? Hello, dear friends. Um, it's actually really hard to just point to uh, one uh, theme out of this uh, amazing event because it really covered such a broad picture of the problems that we are facing uh, in our today's uh, world. Uh, but for me, I think the most uh, touching was the themes about the refugees, uh, about the victims of the climate disasters, uh, because you are able to hear the stories from the people who are in the middle of the uh, happening, uh, who share their experience uh, from the first hand, and um, it was really touching to hear it. And uh, actually, if I'm sincere, it was really hard to translate that and not get very emotional. Yes, I agree with you. And sometimes also it is like if somebody was playing with us and so that we don't choose the good in us. If you remember a few years ago where we have the immigration crisis in Europe, it was exactly like if somebody was already pushing you one direction and so that people, when it comes to the situation that we need to help and we actually need to help someone, 
just that we choose the right thing and do the right thing. Bostian, what would you recommend? What was the touching point well, for you? Uh, touching, point, touching point for me was whole 11 hours, to be honest. Because uh, it's a question like uh, which part of the puzzle you like uh, the most. I can't answer. The whole picture uh, is the most important, uh, I think. But it's... Uh, I would I like, like to emphasize, emphasize two, uh, two points of the, the whole, whole conference. Two, uh, two, uh, two main, two main points. points. Uh, uh, one, one is, is generally, generally speaking, what we are, are doing, are doing to, to each other. other. What, what, what have, have we done? people to ourselves as society and to the planet. That is, that is one, one point, point the second, second big point, point to make, make it even bigger. Is, uh, what is threatening, th threatening us uh, that is out of our influence currently? The source of it is our influence and it's maybe even a bigger threat to entire humanity and uh, if we combine these two things together, what we are doing, how we are busy hurting ourselves and competing with each other, we are in that state completely helpless uh, in relation to the main threat we are facing right now. And it's crucial, I think it's crucial to understand uh, the whole picture, the whole problem with all the components uh, that uh, that are building blocks of it, let's say. Because only when you understand the whole problem, then you can understand the necessity of the solution, of working towards solution now. We don't have much choice if we want uh, a good result, <laughs> if we want to live and prosper. Erika, what are you going to add? Uh, what was most impressive for you? Hello, friends. First of all, I want to say that I really like that everything is uh, everything going to be uh, on this way because we, as a creative society, we can follow this in going in different places, different countries. And related about the action, I think I'm a very, very agreed with both union because all the forum was very impressive, very interesting, but practically I could understand two things that right now we are as a humanity passing. Number one, we have uh, an enemy that attacking us and it's for everyone it's the, the enemy the, the, that this is the climate that's attacking us as a planet but right now we are here as a as a person as a human being and we can take the decision to do something and this this show me the those both spheres that one is if we are not joined together and if we don't finish to be enemies between everyone we're never going to do anything against the biggest enemy that we have that this is the climate that is attacking every place in zones countries and mostly this was the most impressive things for me that the human beings inside instead to be united to uh, fighting this enemy we're dividing every time dividing and dividing and this forum shows all these aspects and it was so terrible so real that and no any media is showing something like this i never seen before in in mass media so until now when i remembering the topics i feel something so so impact in all my being because it's really it's something that we're passing right now 
And I think that everyone must to understand that be because when one person wants to know everything as a planet, as a, as a humanity, they're not going to be stuck uh, with crossed arms doing nothing because it, uh, it, it's going to understand what exactly is happening. Uh, this was most deep understanding that I get from the forum and it was very impressive. Thank you very much. Да, действительно, я тоже uh, хотела бы поделиться, что на форуме... Right, um, I agree with you. I also wanted to share with you that um, at the International Forum it was shown scientifically and from different points of view that our planet is going through a difficult period of uh, global climatic um, disasters that are already increasing and they're still going to increase and how absurd and and the cruel, the society, consumer society that we are living in, because we have technologies today uh, in order to live in abundance and prosperity and that, it, well, all the people can live um, just um, in prosperity, but uh, not just few uh, people. Uh, but this, you know, injustice towards um, people, this injustice, it really uh, hurts because you cannot just be indifferent to the society. You cannot um, just watch people who are dying from thirst when you realize that there are all the conditions for clean drinking water. It's impossible to watch kids dying from hunger when people or when people are doomed to live uh, just outside uh, when, well, it is cold water, frosty weather. Instead of, you know, instead of feeding um, and giving food to people, we kind of, you know, indulged into making up any plans for public. And you know, this absurdity, it just touches at the bottom of my heart. And it is so deep. You know, what really touched me um, that to what extent um, people who just, well, um, have no problems right now, right? People who have food right now in the fridge or if I'm able to give a clean drinking water to my people, so I, I, I should just close my eyes to the problems of other people, but I, just being a, as a mother and woman, can I be indifferent to um, just people, to kids who don't have uh, food and drink and water, as our society has all necessary things for um, these needs. So uh, I suggest right now, let us watch uh, just an expert from the International Global Forum concerning the topic of water as one of the life important sources. The world is already divided into those who are desperately short of water and those who still have it. According to UN data, Humanity needs to wake up to the looming water crisis. And this is despite the fact that nowadays we know how to extract water even from the air and even in the most arid region. Water from fog. In one of the world's largest capitals, Lima, located in the desert, Fog is collected in huge nets and used to produce drinking water. Morocco has one of the largest plants, which produces up to 6,000 liters of drinking water a day from the fog. Its operation costs practically nothing and does not require external energy. Water from the air. Atmospheric water generators allow you to extract up to 3,000 liters of drinking water per day, and it can be increased up to 1 million liters. Can be mobile and stationary. They can operate from any energy source and in any climate, even in the arid desert. 
are used for the needs of the military in some countries and well proven in emergency situations. For example, in 2010, after the Haiti earthquake, the generator produced thousands of gallons of clean water for drinking, wound washing, and surgery. Do you agree to die of thirst in the presence of such modern technology? Water desalination units. Worldwide, about 16,000 desalination plants purify ocean water from salt and turn it into fresh water. They can produce millions of gallons of fresh water a day and supply 300 million people. Innovative developments already allow desalination plants to be environmentally friendly, work even on the energy of ocean waves, and not to harm the ocean. In the water, they can retain the minerals needed for irrigation of fields and extract minerals from the remaining brine. This is ultimate cynicism and cruelty. When millions of people die of thirst in countries located on the ocean coasts, while such technologies are available. And this is the essence of the consumerist format of the society in which we live. Water retreatment. The technology has passed many tests. The water is safe even for drinking and its quality exceeds World Health Organization standards. Meanwhile, Every two minutes, one child dies from a disease related to contaminated water. Two billion people in the world use drinking water sources that are contaminated with feces. By 2025, half of the world's population will live in areas with water scarcity. In just three years, it will be every second person. Actually, we don't have even these three years due to climate change. The situation on the planet is changing rapidly every day. And trouble comes where no one was expecting it. So, what will you personally choose? To die of thirst? Or to drink fecal water? That's the choice which you have in a consumer society. Nowadays, humanity has all the necessary technologies to provide water to drink for everyone. But in the consumerist format, trillions are spent to kill people, and saving our lives is way too expensive. By our inaction, we support this cruel, dead-end, and absurd format of the consumer society. The format in which these problems will never be solved, because our survival for the consumer society means earnings. Nowadays, profit is more important than our lives, and our deaths are just dry figures. The only way out is to change the format. The most important thing you can do now to save your life, the lives of your loved ones and all people on the planet, is to join in informing about the Creative Society because only by changing the format of society will we be able to prioritize the value of human life. We will introduce advanced technology everywhere and guarantee the protection of every person's life. Act now. Inform about the Creative Society.
Действительно, в потребительском обществе новые технологии и новые идеи. Um, society, ideas, people, ones, while people, really necessity, rises, society, society, implement why you um uh, why do you, uh, just new technologies serve only a few people and not to all the people because these few people they control right everything in this world and how advanced technologies could feed for example could give food to people for example as hydroponics vertical uh, farms right which are already existing today that could solve the problems of hunger on the entire planet uh, they are not popular today because they are unprofitable for someone, right? How can you continue to support that kind of society in which human life is uh, worth just nothing and there is only a race for money and power? And uh, in such a society, unfortunately, the technologies that we have today, they are of no demand. And that is why I'm asking you right now, how do you think, um, is it possible in the consumer society to change anything? Um, because we need really just a qualitative change in the very format of society from the consumer one to the creative society, where um, just the highest value would be human life. Please answer this question. Um, if, uh, if I may, uh, it's a very interesting question because it touched uh, uh, the essence of the problem. Uh, we today in the world, we see that in the forum have uh, many many crises crises big crises uh, ecological humanitarian uh, medical economic you name it uh, practically everywhere you look it's a crisis but behind it there is really only one crisis and it's a crisis of values and we don't value life we power from this uh, single point, uh, all the crises is uh, arise. So uh, you, we cannot uh, change the consequence if we don't change the cause. So it's illusion that in consumer format anything can be fixed. If all the reasons that crises uh, came to be and are growing stay the same. So it's your logic that it changing the consumer format uh, into, creative, into creative format and all our uh, basic values along with it is necessary. Yes, you're right, Boschan. Also, uh, in creative format of society, we could use other technologies like, for example, building houses that could solve the problem for so many people around the world. And actually, they could be built very fast. So, yes, these are... And these technologies will never work, as Anya said, uh, in the consumer format because the main focus is on profit and not on people. While in the creative society, you can build these houses like in a few weeks and then all of a sudden your agenda, your housing agenda as a government or your is solved and is working for the population and for the for, for people. Erika, how about you? What do you think Will we be able to use these technologies like in the recent format and or it's 
we need to change the format so that you know the the certain group of people will not be focusing on make or making money on it and all of these technologies will be actually working in the benefit of the whole society not just water but all the others Thank you, Robert, for the. You know what? I I think that the the technologies that we was watching in the forum, in the consumer format, not going to be used because in the consumer format we need the most primordial point that this is the money, and those technologies already exist. It's going to be implemented in this consumer format. You're only going to show more inequality, more rich people and more poor people, and all both technologies for the for uh, healthcare, uh, living, and food. Going, only going to be used only when we was in the creative format, when the 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 life of the person, every person in this world, going to be most important. Contrary to that, those technologies are going to be there, making more money for the rich people. And as always happening in the consumer format. So for this reason, I understand, I believe that it's very necessary that the format of the society must be changed. In one format the, where the life is going to be most important thing, most valuable things. And when the, the only point that the people are going to have is to, to help each other. And I consider that um, it's very, very necessary, very important to change the format, to use all these technologies and remove all the hunger, all the crisis. So such technologies are going to be implemented right now, today, this day, in this moment, only going to be a very beneficial for the people that they have the money to get those houses, to get those generators and take a water generator from wind. Uh, not the, the benefit not going to be for the people that really need. And for this, it's necessary to change the format. So when we saw the 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 movie uh, so so the forum the the forum the people tend to say this is the this is from the government uh, this is fault of the government because life is like this it, what it is but this is not right we must to think about how to to change that because we are a planet we are living in the same planet um if someone something going to affect someone sooner or later going to affect another person because we're in the same planet so if we have people that are dying for the uh, don't drink water so probably in the, my country is not happening yet but this is not a, it's, it's a sign that it's not going to happen here and if we don't change that as soon as possible of this society so faster we're going the more faster we're going to find all the solution and going to fix all these people that is dying right now and for for such reason it's so necessary to change the format and must be now and faster thank you very much If I may, may add to this, uh, what Erica just said, uh, uh, I also live in a part where there is no like water problems or uh, energy electricity problems, and also there are not uh, really big problems with the climate uh, yet. But um, knowing all this information that was presented on the forum, it would be so selfish to think that it doesn't concern me because it's it's not happening to me right now because like like you said erica we live in the same planet and we are actually one humanity in and if uh, on on the other side of the planet something terrible is happening and people are suffering uh, 
it makes me uh, hurt too to see, to know that, and to not do anything. So I think that the most important thing is uh, to share the information about the possibility of solution, which is creative society, and to spread it with everyone that uh, we know and. Uh, Everyone of us can do that. It's not really hard to share the link, to talk about it, to go to the Creative Society page, to learn about it yourself so you can talk to other people. And uh, this is really, really important in that moment, I think. Yeah, if I may add uh, from the experience, uh, the problems we have are really Carry and they easily make you turn away and feel helpless. And many people do that because problems are huge. Uh, but talking about these problems would be nonsense if there uh, wasn't a solution inside. Uh, but uh, many people want to do something and they don't have the feeling they are doing something if they are talking about creative society. But that's why I think it's very important to emphasize that exactly talking about creative society is doing what is the most needed right now. This is actually the first phase of the building creative society. Just talking right now in the first phase is actually already building creative society and implementing the solution that we have to implement. So... Everyone can do that. Nobody is small and not important, and um, everyone can contribute uh, his part. And it's like it's like the forum. Okay, one person can do it. And when group of people joined towards the same goal, uh, nobody had to pay anything to nobody. There was no bosses, no deadlines, and everything was made. So for me personally, that's practical experience. Mm, what people uh, who focus on the same goal can do together. Things that are practically unimaginable or even impossible in consumer format uh, are very easily done in a creative society where people are really join and focus towards one goal. So it's now it's important to talk about it's already work and it's already the change we need. Yeah, it's like whenever you met someone and they just say, oh, you're just talking, you're talking. Guys, but that's important, as Boschen said. We, we have a construction site outside of the window of my offices. And for almost a year, they're just building the basement, the, the foundations. And the whole building is planned to be raised in like six more months. So a year creating the foundation and six months building the whole building. So that's how the foundations are important. And... We are, that's what we are doing now when we are talking. How many people like that you met, Erika, that were saying, oh, you're just talking and we have more important things to do. Could you just tell them, to tell our viewers why it is important that we inform everybody that this kind of solution is available? Robert, what? You are really right, because when you, when I share this information in social media, I think the people tend to be more not uh, very selfish, very aggressive to receive this information. But when you share this information face to face in, with the person in the supermarket, when the people that are in, in a coffee, when you talk with them, and you talk about this so solution, or simply to listen to you, um, listening to you in the transportation, I'm talking about this creative society, society 
I had a very, very good re result because it's so different when you're typing a comment and when you're talking directly with the people. So in this way, I'm agreed with Bozjan that he told to us that we, we have to share with everyone and we have to inform in every with everyone and everyone can do that because you know in this weekend uh, i was talking with a few person of my family i talk about the project and they asked me what can i do what are you going to do i cannot do anything um you know it's very hard to me to work a day so how can i do and when you say they that yes share the the page yes send a message wherever you want to your friend and they say i can do that and the thing is you're really right that you, the thing that you're saying everyone can help and in this moment in this moment we're going to achieve a lot of people and they're going to know that exists another solution and it's not only they they are receiving bad news problems and so on and the thing is we have a solution this solution exists and we can help and those people that i commend this weekend finally uh, after the conversation they felt useful and i understood it anyway that maybe you know maybe the, person, the people want to, to help but watching the photo probably they think or used to think about i'm not powerful i can do anything i don't have uh, nothing but when you say yes share call something, say something comment with your neighbor they feel like uh, okay I, I can do that and you can transmit this uh, feeling of be sure about that and they feel useful to the project and um, based on my experience of this experience uh, of this weekend i i feel very very happy i feel that the people feel happy uh, too because they understood that they can share in any time on media they share the link the videos and they feel like uh, in any part they feel part of the solution and they don't stay maybe worrying just right about that waiting for um someone or they just came today and in any reason they feel like they are very motivated um i share with you all this fact everyone everyone we can help even a little bit even a little bit in every circumstance we can do that we are going to do that every time we have this power to do that this needness to share this solution with everyone Thank you. Thank you very much, Erika. Uh, indeed, uh, to share information, to spread information about the Creative Society, I know it's really a great feeling because it's just not uh, about information, it's a way of life. The Creative Society, when you understand what it is, uh, where if you, you dear viewers, uh, haven't heard about the Creative Society, believe. Uh, analyze this information on your own on the website about the Creative Society and um, there is lots of information about the Creative Society on the internet especially about the eight foundations of the Creative Society and when you read and re you realize what the Creative Society is about uh, it's the society of justice of equal rights of freedom where a person can fulfill all his potential to the utmost, where a person is not limited to within, you know, some borders of uh, survival. Uh, uh, and uh, when a, uh, just a person has all the just great conditions for living, and these conditions, of course, are created by people themselves. And we people, um, we if we start uh, 
respect in each other and to treat each other with kindness. If we start taking care of our neighbors, then we already start living in the creative society. And when we ourselves live as human beings, truly as human beings, then we share this information, we spread this information all over the world, and we go on uh, telling people that uh, all the whole world may be united. And um, we tell that uh, people that, you know, it's useless to shift responsibility in someone else, but uh, yeah, we can do, we can change our life ourselves. We are people who want to live. We, we can live by our conscious and because each of us knows how to live in the peace and in the world of peace and kindness. So let us start living like human beings. Let us be the conductors, so to say, of the messengers of the creative society. Also, when we spread information about the creative society, uh, all the people, right, get resonate with this information because all the people, uh, they want they want to live in the creative society. But in order for this creative society to be all over the world, so all the people should know about this information because when each person gets to know about the creative society, then we'll start living in the creative society all just at once. And let's gratitude to all the people who spread information about the creative society. And if you still haven't uh, just uh, got to know about the creative society, please find this information, find out about it, because it's really cool to live in the same world. Otherwise, dear friends, I'm afraid we do not have any other chance uh, to survive. And we should be honest about uh, this and uh, we should understand the causes um, because if we go on existing in the consumer society this is a deadlock and uh, as well as uh, about the creative society yeah, we just talked about creative society so each of us understands that uh, to live uh, exist in the consumer society yeah, it's useless let us choose life because our uh, lives of our dear ones are in our hands thank you Anna Guys, would you also like to add some words to our viewers? Some message that you would like to pass to them? Whoever wants to take the word. I remember the first conference that we translated. It was in December 2019. And this was there was this theme about the learned helplessness. And uh, it really uh, made me think because uh, it's so easy to think that you are small and unimportant, as was already mentioned today, and that you cannot do anything. But if they were able to teach us to be so helpless, then that means that we can teach the opposite so that we are hopeful and helpful. And uh, by being a participant of the Creative Society project, you are learning just that, that you are not small, that you are not unimportant, that each of us counts, that each life is important, that each small step that you can do and make to to share the information about the creative society is a huge help and uh, it's very, very important. And I think that uh, that is something that actually, if we are honest, each of, each of us should ask himself, what can I do to make this world better? And by sharing their information about creative society, that's one good step to start. And of course, listening to your conscious, because we are all human, we all want to live in a world uh, which is full of respect, uh, where there is uh, enough and there is enough of everything for everyone. And I think that is very possible. And these uh, forums uh, that uh, was on the May of 7th, just the preparation of the forum was actually, like Bastian already mentioned, a practical example of how the creative society works. So many people with the same goal and you can make wonders. And there's eight billions of us here on the earth and we can change the world easily if we want to. Thank you.
Wonderful. <clears throat> I completely agree. And I would just like to add uh, that it's good to listen, everyone to listen to his own conscience. Because we can say, uh, as it was said in the forum, why are you scaring people? Okay, the truth, the situation we are in now may be scary. But the truth has another side which is not scary, <laughs> that is creative society, that is bright future. And even that scary side of the truth is not even close to how scary the lie is. To continue living in lie is the scariest thing in this world. So I would just like to say, listen to your conscience and there to face the truth, because when you face the whole truth, you will see the whole problem, but not just the problem, you will also see the solution, which is simple and is humane and is completely in our hands. So the only scary thing right now is to look away and to act like nothing is going on and nothing can be done. So let's change it together to, to live what everybody wants to live in creative society. Sí, eh, escuchándolos también. Yes, I was listening eh, you all and uh, estoy totalmente de acuerdo con ustedes. Very, ¿saben? very agree Como with decía, everyone ya, here. Eh, Uno cuando prepara estos he, foros, cuando he ya prepared those forms, del proyecto, cuando es un participating in this project, when you are an active volunteer, de cierta manera, al inicio, how, se puede uno beginning, tener quizás eh, temores o, o miedos de que no voy a poder hacerlo, o that you're not going to get it. Que Something it's like uh, force you to don't do that, and you're not going to afford that. I, I remember when I started the volunteer in the project Creative Society. A lot of fear. At the time, they helped everyone in here. I, I think a lot of things that I never imagined or like thing in life. Like right now, I never think before that I'm going to doing something like that. I receive a lot uh, of everyone, my partner, because we have a common uh, object as the same uh, speaker right here. Everyone searching for the same, very similar, working together in the same project, in the same purpose. And it's very the same as starting every project in the, in the beginning. You're going to a lot of fear, a lot of doubt. Después, al trabajar en conjunto, when you think to work together eh, as a team, y, y, everything disappears. All this stuff don't disappear and be deluded because de you are be able to work This is the society to create together, to create something together in the benefit of all with the same object and this case is live because everyone here we are people and we want to live we want to live in a nice world equitative world that this world must be uh, amazing that with no crisis that right now we're living passing today and as a people so and i feel like and think about what Andrea said, and because it's like this, he, when we start acting in the benefit of everyone, or in the benefit of the people, everything is more easier, everything is very nice. We just imagine that everyone in this planet happening, everything is going to be very easy to eradicate everything that's affecting us. 
Entonces, people. en ese sentido, so, yo this way, comparto mucho I share, y ese, ese uh, sentimiento de que juntos vamos a lograr lo más rápido y más rápido faster. tuvimos, más nos faster que vamos a la obra and the faster we put our hands at work to uh, become the project, the, the faster we're going to achieve it. And we're going to work in all the fears, all the, on all what the people have that it uh, uh, not allowing people to act. And because we're going to do that together. And only to have the, the, the needness to do it. As we, as we say that in Ecuador, it's jumping to the water and starting now. And you have to decide to you to uh, do it, do it, and the faster you do it, faster we're going to save. We have this uh, uh, topic to live in this amazing. So, dear viewers, as you were able to hear, we have a choice to leave things as they are or to take action. Yes, we see examples of what happens in our world when we let things run their course. And that is why all this horror happens, all this crisis, all these disasters. But we have another example, an example of action. These are the participants of the Creative Society Project. These are millions of people who no longer agree with the prescribed scenario of doom. These are the people who are doing everything possible to change our format of society once and for all. People who sincerely act, do not keep silent and tell the truth. If you also understand what is happening and do not agree with prescribed scenario, join the ranks of people, real people, who are changing our future. And dear guests, we really think it's so easy. It's to just to spread the information, what we've just heard and what was presented at the forum. If you find yourself inspired and would, la would like to participate, would like to contribute to the greater good of all of humanity, please take action immediately. The information that you heard today during the international discussion and also what was voiced by respected speakers from all parts of the world during the forum, global crisis, we are people, we want to live. It has to be heard by every human being on the planet and has to be understood. If we want to be able to create a better future, please share it with as many people as possible. It's simple as that. And if you are wondering how to take action, there are so many simple steps. You can visit the website, find the link to the forum in your language, watch it, send the email to the official email info at creativesociety.com and to our official social media like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Become part of this international discussion. Share this information. Did I forget anything, Anna? Спасибо, дорогие друзья. Thank you, dear friends. Today has been really very, you know, warm and friendly atmosphere communication with you. I'm grateful to each of our guests that you've shared your impressions, your feelings about the International Forum with all of us, and lots and lots of gratitude, uh, you know, to you all. And it's really such a great experience to be in the team, and it's great inspiration. And today we have uh, people 
from all different corners of the world. Yeah, we've been speaking different languages, but we are united by the common goal. This is building um, the creative society. Thank you very much for your action. Thank you for being together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. <laughs> and let's take action. Let's spread the message. Do you know that people stopped being silent? international discussions the truth is that when it comes to migrations and refugees it has it is a business i saw the market where the children selling out openly four days we were facing the sniper shot us and the bullets above all, our heads if we do not address such issues like human trafficking tomorrow it could be you tomorrow it could be me Politics is driving the science, not the science driving the politics. Many people want us to stop to talk, but I say no. This reality can affect and can take your life anytime. People are losing everything. $270 trillion. Where is the money? And where is the result? This 12,068 year cycle is a clock cycle. All these problems that we're facing right now, you cannot tackle alone. Thank goodness we have the creative society to choose human life over currency. We're living in one big hole. And if this big family fighting with each other, destroying walls of the home, tomorrow we will find ourselves in the streets without a room, without the families. From every corner, we can actually hear that it is not economically beneficial. But the question is, economically, it is not beneficial for whom? Isn't beneficial for us people to save our own lives? We need to bring together all of the intellect, all to the science, all of the people that can actually do something. I think that the members of Creative Society are the new, new and real superheroes. These people already understand that we should urgently act. Do you want to become part of changes? Take action. Don't be silent. You are invited to the new season of international discussions. Watch the forum Global Crisis. We are people. We want to live. Changes begin from you.